Now, in a similar way, the subset of the real line consisting of those real numbers greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1, we generally denote an interval notation using square brackets. And this subset of the real line is called a closed interval. because the complement of this subset, which is a union of open intervals, is in the standard topology on the real line. Now, we will study the standard topology on the real line in a later lecture. But for now, just recognize that the terms open and closed occur in the context of the standard topology on the real line, and in the absence of a specified topology on the real line, the standard topology is implied. All right, so we can give a uh, characterization of a uh, topological space in the language of open sets. So let x together with some topology tau be a topological space. Then, the empty set and the entire set are open. Arbitrary unions of open sets are open. And finite intersections of open sets are open. Now notice that this is simply a restatement of the definition in the language of open sets. So next we will prove a theorem giving a uh, equivalent uh, characterization of a topological space in the language of closed sets. So once again, let the set X together with some topology be a topological space. Then the empty set and the entire set are closed. Arbitrary intersections of closed sets are closed and finite unions of closed sets are closed. Okay, so proof First statement, since the complement of the empty set is the entire set, which is open in any topology, we see that the empty set is closed. And since the complement of the entire set in itself is the empty set, which is open in any topology, we see that the entire set is closed. Second statement, let the set containing the sets u sub i, where i is in some indexing set i, be an indexed family of sets such that u sub i is open for every index i. Then the complement x set minus u sub i is closed 
for every index i. Now since the arbitrary intersection of the complement, complements, is the complement of the arbitrary union of the sets u sub i. And we know that the arbitrary union of open sets is open. We see that the arbitrary intersection of the closed sets is closed. Okay, so third statement. Let u sub 1 through u sub n be open sets. Then the complement x set minus u sub i is closed for every index i in the set from 1 to n. Now, since the finite union of the complements is the complement of the finite intersection of the sets u sub i. And we know that the finite intersection of open sets is open. We see that the finite union of the closed sets is closed. So notice that in any topological space, the empty set and the entire set are both open and closed. So we see that these terms are not opposites, nor are they mutually exclusive. They are complements of one another. Now the other permutations of open and closed are also possible for a given uh, subset in a topological space. So in a topological space, A given subset can be both open and closed open but not closed Closed, but not open. Or neither open nor closed. So let's uh, revisit a two-point set. So let the set X be the set containing the points A and B. And let the point A be the specified point Then the particular point topology on this set is the set which contains the empty set, the singleton set, which contains the point A and the entire set. Now we already know that the empty set and the entire set are both open and closed. Now the singleton set containing the point A is open, but is not closed since its complement
is the singleton set containing the point B, which is not open in the uh, particular point topology. So if we now look at the excluded point topology on this set, we have the empty set, the singleton set which contains the point B, and the entire set. Now once again, the empty set and the entire set are both open and closed. And the singleton set containing the point B is open, but is not closed. Since its complement is the singleton set containing the point A, which is not in the excluded point topology. So recall that a Sierpinski space is a uh, space on a two-point set with either the particular point topology or the excluded point topology. And that in a uh, Sierpinski uh, space, the only sets that are both open and closed are the empty set and the entire set. And so a Sierpinski space is the smallest non-trivial topological space. for which the only subsets that are both open and closed are the empty set and the entire set. Now, uh, in the case of the indiscrete topology, the only sets that are both open and closed are the empty set and the entire set, but in the indiscrete topology, these are the only subsets in the topology, and so this is a, a trivial uh, topological space. So again, a Sierpinski space is the smallest non-trivial topological space for which the open subsets are, for which the subsets, the only subsets, that are both open and closed are the empty set and the entire set. And later we will see that this means that a Sierpinski space is the smallest non-trivial connected space. So let's now look at the uh, particular point topology uh, in general. The particular point topology is the union of the set which contains the empty set with all subsets of the set X such that the point P is in that subset. So let the set U be a proper subset of the set X such that U is not empty. So uh, we're looking at a non-empty proper subset of the underlying set. If the uh, set U is open in the particular point topology, then the point P is in the set U, and so the point P is not in the complement of the set U, and hence the complement is not open in the particular point topology. If we now look at the excluded point topology, Recall that this is the union of the set which contains the entire set with all subsets of the set X that do not contain the point P. Again, let the set U be a proper subset that is not empty. If the set U is open in the excluded point topology, then the point P is not 
in the set U. And so the point P is in the complement of the set U. And hence, the complement is not open in the excluded point topology. So in a topological space, with either the particular point topology or the excluded point topology, the only sets or the only subsets that are both open and closed are the empty set and the entire set. Okay, now in contrast, in a discrete topological space, every subset is both open and closed now recall that the uh, discrete topology consists of every possible subset of the given underlying set and so every set is open and as the complement of any given subset is once again a subset every subset is also closed. And so, again, in a uh, discrete topological space, every subset is both open and closed. And as we will see later, this means that a discrete topological space is completely disconnected. Okay, so we'll end here for today. Next time, we will continue to look at open and closed, closed sets, and also at the related concepts of the interior and closure of a given set in a topological space. So I hope you have enjoyed the second lecture. Thanks for watching.